Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, November 11th. It is Veterans Day. There is officially no school today. And I'm reading you a book about Veterans Day. Veterans Day is very special to me because for the first time, my oldest son is considered a veteran. He's a veteran because he served four years in the Air Force. And over the summer, he got out of the Air Force. So this is his official first Veterans Day. A veteran is someone who has served in a branch of the military. It could be the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, and it just means they served their time and they're no longer in the branch of the military. Um, so I'm reading you this great book called Veterans Day. The author is Amanda During Torville, and the illustrations are done by Todd Auren. Veterans Day. Honoring the people who serve. It is November 11th, and your city is celebrating. You go to a parade. People in many different uniforms walk by. Bands play patriotic music. A man on horse carries a large American flag. You are celebrating Veterans Day. We celebrate Veterans Day to honor people who have served in the U.S. military. The Great War. Between 1914 and 1918, many countries were at war. At the time, the war was called the Great War. It is now known as World War I. The United States entered the war in 1917. On November 11, 1918, Germany surrendered and agreed to stop fighting. This day became known as Armistice Day. The End of Fighting When people heard that the countries had stopped fighting, there was a great celebration. All over the world, people gathered in the streets. Businesses closed so that everyone could join in the fun. People in every country were happy that the fighting had ended. The first anniversary. On November 11th, 1919, President Woodrow Wilson made a statement. He said that the United States would celebrate the first anniversary of Armistice Day. The country was to remember Armistice Day with parades and meetings. All businesses should stop for two minutes at 11 a.m. Other countries remember. The United States was not the only country to remember Armistice Day. In 1920, Great Britain and France honored those who died in the war. Each country created a tomb for one soldier who had died. No one knew who these soldiers were. They stood for all the unknown people who had died for their countries. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. In 1921, the United States also created a tomb for one unknown soldier. At 11 a.m. on November 11, 1921, the soldier was lowered into the marble tomb. This was the third anniversary of Armistice Day. The nation fell silent to honor the unknown soldier. A federal holiday. In the 1920s and 1930s, many states passed laws to make Armistice Day a state holiday. In 1938, lawmakers made Armistice Day a legal federal holiday. It was to be celebrated every November 11th. On this day, the nation would remember the people who fought and died in World War I. World War II and the Korean War. After World War I, most people did not think there would ever be another large war. They were wrong. In 1939, World War II began. The United States entered the war in 1941. The war ended in 1945. Americans also fought in the Korean War. This war was fought from 1950 to 1953. Armistice Day becomes Veterans Day. Many Americans fought in World War II and the Korean War. 
the country agreed that these people needed to be honored too. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower changed the name of Armistice Day. The holiday was renamed Veterans Day. People wanted Veterans Day to honor those who had served the nation. They also wanted to remember veterans who had been killed or wounded. Veterans Day remembers all of these brave people. Celebrating Veterans Day. We celebrate Veterans Day to honor the people who have served in the U.S. military. Some veterans have fought in wars. Some people are still fighting. On November 11th, we show that we are grateful to veterans for protecting our country. Veterans Day is celebrated in different ways. Churches hold special services to honor veterans. Many towns and cities have parades. Some people visit cemeteries where veterans are buried. Some schools and businesses have the day off. Students who have school might write letters to people serving in the military. Schools may even invite veterans to talk to the students. Visiting a cemetery or a memorial shows respect to military people and their loved ones. The United States celebrates Veterans Day to honor everyone who has served in the military. We remember the people who protected our country. We thank the people who still serve in the military. And now it has some facts about Veterans Day. Veterans Day and Memorial Day are similar holidays, but they honor veterans in different ways. On Memorial Day, we honor people who died in wars. On Veterans Day, we honor everyone who has served or is serving in the military. Australia, Canada, and Great Britain call this holiday Remembrance Day. Each year at Arlington National Cemetery, the president and high-ranking military officials speak. Military bands play patriotic music. The president lays a wreath of flowers at the tomb of the unknown soldier. There are several organizations that veterans can join. Some of these include the Veterans of Foreign Wars, the VFW, the Disabled American Veterans, DAV, the American Legion, and the National Association for Black Veterans. And normally on Veterans Day, I would go to the VFW and they have a beautiful ceremony. But because of COVID, they are not having it. I just talked to one of the members today and she said they're not having it. They don't have any plans, uh, but she would let me know if they did end up doing something. And also, if you go into town tomorrow, you're going to see many flags placed on the streets. And I am volunteering to help set some of those up. Um, so if you do drive through town, you're going to see all the beautiful flags out. If you have a veteran in your family or you know a veteran that is a friend, tell them thank you and wish them a happy Veterans Day. And I hope you guys are doing great. I'll see you back here on Thursday tomorrow. Bye-bye.